Hi friend, I am Shudip. Welcome to my YouTube channel Pharmacy MCQ Guide. Now today we discuss about the topic FQ derivatives used in the treatment of UTI. Means FQ means fluoroquinolone derivatives used in the treatments of UTI means urinary tract infection. Okay. Now the first question is. The introduction year of the ciprofloxacin and its analog. Actually, the ciprofloxacin belongs to the group of fluoroquinolone derivatives. Okay, so now the introduction year of the ciprofloxacin and its analogs. Option number one, nineteen seventy five. Option number B, nineteen seventy seven. Option number C, nineteen eighty. Option number D, nineteen hundred ninety. So the right answer is nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty is the introduction year of the ciprofloxacin and its other fluoroquinolone analogs. Question number two: Which group of the FQ fluoroquinolones structure also facilitated the drug entry into the gram-negative bacteria? Actually, these fluoroquinolone derivatives also active against the gram-negative bacteria. Okay, so in case of the when we saw we saw the structure of the fluoroquinolone derivatives ha huh? the c double h groups means carboxyl group and co group means keto group which helps the facilitation of the drug entry into the gram negative bacteria as a result the multiplication of the gram negative bacteria also prevented okay so option number 1 is c double h group option number b is oh group option number c is c double c h group option number d all of this above so the right answer is c double h group option number a next the next the question number 3 the mechanism of ciprofloxacin by inhibiting actually ciprofloxacin belong to the first generation of fluoroquinolone derivative used in the uti so what is the mechanism option number a by inhibiting the dna xylase enzyme option number b dna polymerase option number c topoisomerase 4 and option number d none of this above actually the right answer is dna gyrase dna gyrase is also called as topoisomerase 2 because this enzyme dna gyrase enzyme is also related to the gram negative bacteria it is also called as topoisomerase 2 and top option number c topoisomerase 4 is also related to the gram positive bacteria okay so if the mechanism of the ciprofloxacin by inhibiting the enzyme of dna gyrase because ciprofloxacin and other fluoroquinolone derivatives is specific for uh, against against the gram negative bacteria okay so the dna polymerase is not the right answer option number a is the right answer dna gyrase question number 4 give an example of second generation of fluoroquinolone derivatives option number a ciprofloxacin option number b ofloxacin option number c levofloxacin option number d all of these above actually we see the classification of fluoroquinolone derivative option number a is the first generation group of fluoroquinolone derivative option number 2 second generation group of fluoroquinolone derivative option number c third generation group of fluoroquinolone derivative option number d fourth generation so option number a ciprofloxacin it's not the right answer because ciprofloxacin belongs to the first generation of fluoroquinolone derivatives option number b ofloxacin belongs to the second generation sorry ofloxacin belongs to the first generation option number c levofloxacin it belongs to the second generation so the right answer is option number c levofloxacin belongs to the second generation of fluoroquinolone derivatives question number 5 moxifloxacin belongs to the group of fluoroquinolone option number a first generation option number b second generation option number c third generation option number d fourth generation actually moxifloxacin is a very common and popular drug which is available in the market so the moxifloxacin group of fluoroquinolone derivative belongs to the fourth generation group of the fluoroquinolone derivative so the right answer is option number d fourth generation question number 6 ciprofloxacin actives specially against option number of gram positive bacteria option number b gram negative bacteria option number c both option number d none actually ciprofloxacin acting specially against uh, gram negative bacteria because fluoroquinolone fluoroquinolone derivatives 
have the specificity for the gram-negative bacteria. So option number B is the right answer. Ciprofloxacin acts specially against the gram-negative bacteria. So uh, question number seven, which phosphorus and fluoroquinone derivative have the poor bioavailability? Bio which phosphorus and group of fluoroquinone derivative? Option number A, ciprofloxacin. Option number B, non-fluoroquinone. Option number C, ofloxacin. Option number D, none of this above. Actually, this all drug belongs to the phosphorus and group of fluoroquinone derivative because under this under these three drugs actually non fluoxacin have the poor bioavailability okay means 20 to 30 percent bio bioavailability for non fluoxacin but ciprofloxacin and ofloxacin and minimum high bioavailability so option number b is the right answer non fluoxacin have poor bioavailability question number 8 the usual dose of the ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin is common drug. Option number A, 500 mg BD. Option number B, 400 mg BD. Option number C, 250 mg BD. Option number D, 800 mg BD. So the right answer is 500 mg BD dose for the usual dose of the ciprofloxacin. Question number 9. Under the fluoroquinone derivatives, which is specifically used with the combination of antitubercular drug? Means which fluoroquinone derivatives is used for the combination with antitubercular drug means used in the treatments of the tuberculosis option number a ofloxacin option number b moxifloxacin option number c sparfloxacin option number d all of the above actually this sparfloxacin is belongs to the second generation of fluoroquinone derivative moxifloxacin belongs to the fourth generation ofloxacin belongs to first generation so ofloxacin and ciprofloxacin is specially used with the combination of antitubercular drug so the right answer is option number a ofloxacin is the popular drug which is specially used with the combination of antitubercular drug or used in combination form in the treatments of tuberculosis question number 10 the half life of the getifloxacin Option number A, 8 to 10 hours. Option number B, 5 to 10 hours. Option number C, 2 to 5 hours. Option number D, 10 to 15 hours. Actually, option number A is the right answer. The half life of the getifloxacin is 8 to 10 hours. It is the important questions in this topic. Question number 11, the oral bioavailability of the moxifloxacin. Option number A, 90 to 92 percent. Option number B, 80 to 85 percent. Option number C, 50 to 65 percent. Option number D, 40 to 45 percent. Option number A is the right answer. 90 to 90 percent is the oral viability of the moxifloxacin. Means moxifloxacin belongs to the fourth generation of fluoroquinone derivative used in UTI, UTI attack infection. But moxifloxacin have the high bioavailability, oral. 90 to 92 percent is the right answer. Option number A. Question number 12. The unique feature or differences from the phenafloxacin than other fluoroquinone derivative means phenafloxacin ka special characteristic kya hai option number a antibacterial activity increases acidic ph option number b no hepatotoxicity no cardiotoxicity option number c very high safety profile option number d all of this above so the right answer is all of this above option number d question number 13 fluoroquinone derivative should not given with which drugs Fluoroquinone derivative should not be given with which drugs. Means, fluoroquinone derivative is contraindicated in which group of drug. Option number A, magnesium containing antacid. Option number B, warfarin. Option number C, sucralfate. Option number D, all of this above. Actually, this, the right answer is option number D because fluoroquinone derivatives, when used with the magnesium containing antacid, it produces the chillet formation. So, it absorption also decreases and fluoroquinone derivative when used with the warfarin it also decreases the absorption of the warfarin so the anticoagulant activity also decreases and and it should not given with sucral fat because it also decreases the absorption or activity of the sucral fat which is used in the treatments of protective agent in ulcer option number d all of this our right answer is option number d so 14 question number 14 Give an example of the urinary antiseptic. Urinary antiseptic is not used in systematically. Okay. It is superficial. It is used in superficial. Option number A, nalidictic acid. Option number B, ciprofloxacin. Option number C, ofloxacin. Option number D, levofloxacin. Actually, levofloxacin, ofloxacin, ciprofloxacin, uh, it is used in systematically against the 
gram negative bacteria but nanodexic acid is urinary antiseptic it is not used systematically so the right answer is option number a which following drug act by inhibiting the acetyl coa synthesis and block the carbohydrate metabolism means which drug also act by inhibiting the acetyl jo co synthesis ka jo uh, synthesis hai usko inhibit kar deta and block the carbohydrate metabolism option number a nitrofurantin option number b nanodexic acid option number c levofloxacin option number d all of these above the right answer is nitrofurantin because option number c levofloxacin and other drugs um, act by inhibiting the dna xylase enzyme so the multiplication of the uh, bacteria gram negative bacteria also prevented hmm but the nitrofurantin is the urinary type of antiseptic which is not used systematically but which act by inhibiting the acetyl coa enzyme synthesis and as a result the carbohydrate metabolism in the bacteria also prevented okay so the right answer is option number a nitrofurantin so please share like and subscribe my channel